Hey guys, in this video we're going to be removing the top of the printer in order to get a better access inside the printer because the access here is somewhat limited. Um, so you can get plenty of access here just in case you have paper, uh, uh, paper jams or anything like that, but you may want to get everywhere else. For example, if you want to see some connections or if you want to see more paper stuck behind there with a paper jam. Or if you have a B200 Air and your a carrier is stuck on this side you can't get it out we can remove the top and have that resolved and you can get access you can at least get rid of that print head and when you put a new one in everything should be fine so basically the b200 air is short circuiting your printer and it's not letting this move so this is a canon pixmix 6820 printer the white format what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to remove uh, the wire, unplug it from the wall and from the back. So I already went ahead and unplugged from the wall and we're just going to remove this here just to be safe. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these two screws. Also, another thing on this side, on this left uh, so if we're looking at the printer from the back, on the left side we have this, uh, that's the USB port connection and the Ethernet connection. So <clears throat> we're going to remove any tabs that are here because when we try to pull up this panel, that's going to be in the way. So we're going to go ahead and remove this one. Now this. We then need to remove this panel right here. To remove that, you'll see arrows right here on top. That's where you're gonna put the flathead screwdriver and kind of push it there. Push about um, just enough, I think like an eighth of an inch. Don't push it too far to avoid breaking the clips. When you push it in there, you're gonna press on these here. So these tabs, you're basically when you go into these holes, you're pushing on this and it releases and then you're just kind of like pulling as you do that. And then kind of, kind of just like wiggle it out of there. Okay. Okay, and so from this point on, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. We removed only two screws in the back. We removed this one, this panel right here. We don't need to remove this one, it'll pop up as we go around and try to remove it, but everywhere else it's clipped in. So when we open this here, uh, we're going to see a few arrows. So it's these two on the left, two on the right. <clears throat> they refer to releasing this whole panel right here. Um, there's also going to be one right here, another one right here. and. I believe that's it. Disregard these because we already used them for the panel. So, and when you put, I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver again for that. It's It needs to be at least this long. It's about, I'd say three inches long. If you have anything shorter, it's not gonna work because mine barely is there. So it's not even three, yeah, three inches. Sorry, there we go. Three inches is at least what you'll need. Uh, because these ones here, they're pretty deep in order to get to the clips. Okay, let's try to get this done. I'm going to show it to you at the best angle possible. Um, so you're going to pull on here. Kind of like let this be your pull. If you're pulling on this tray, uh, it also will work. So anything on top here that you're pulling on. So you're just kind of like pulling up and then try to get to that clip there. There we go. And you can see at the bottom we have this crack now. So I would put something here. So I shove this piece of paper towel right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this one. So as we're pulling this, it's honestly a bit tricky with this one. Usually they're pretty close to the top here. Okay, so this one is disconnected now too, unclipped. 
now we have that one up front so this one right here there we go so we got the left side up let me just kind of hold this you want to make sure you don't keep any pieces inside of the printer later but this should keep us from closing this side and let's run to the other side here okay so on this side same here we're gonna pull up right here I'm gonna put a flathead screwdriver in there that release that one that one and then let's do this one so probably a good idea to also put some wedge over there just to get to this one and that's what I'll have to do all right so I got some paper towel in there as well let's go here okay we got this one so this kind of releases this control panel okay so it feels like it's stuck here a little bit but all we need to do is just keep going with it. So, like that. Just kind of, if it's stuck on this side, just lift this one and pull it up a little bit and you should be able to remove it. So, when you lift this, be very careful not to break anything. It shouldn't have anything attached to it except that um, sensor, but I'll be careful to check that may not be the case. Let's make sure we remove, like unplug this cord right here. This is the only one that's connected to the top. We do not want to rip it. So you're just going to put a flathead screwdriver right here and push this. You have this wire right here. Just carefully disconnect it. You can unwind it from this here and just pull it to the right. So just gently remove it this way there we go okay and then just make sure you take it from this spool right here and release that and now we should be able to go there we go awesome we got it that's inside of it just plastic there very cool design that they made it so easy to access um, and like I said you have access to this one just in case your carriage is stuck on the right you can't get it out you can't get the print head out this is probably the only way and it's honestly not that hard so just make sure you do it right even if a clip breaks somewhere it's no big deal but you shouldn't be you shouldn't break a, um, a clip here so we have the carrier right here at this point you can just remove the cartridges and with this one you can just lift the latch and remove the print head so if you need to oops make sure you put that in right uh this is the main board right here if you need to access to any of the wiring if you think something is disconnected or so remove this protective piece and you have access to all the connections there let's see so this is the main board your control panel is right here and then your wireless card if you ever have an issue with your wireless connection that's that one right there yeah so it's this one right there right in the middle you can see the wire connected to it so yeah, that's the wireless card, and it's right behind this control panel. And if you need to get access to that card, you just press this right here, this tab right there, and that releases the control panel. So let me show you how that works. Let's see here. So I'm pressing it in, pushing it out. So once again, you press down on that and just wiggle it out of there. So there's a few areas that, oh, this is the main, the wireless card right here. Okay. So when you're done with everything here, 
you have like an AR5100 where you're, or you have lines on the paper that are vertical, not horizontal, this is the strip that needs to be cleaned. It goes in the back of this carrier unit. That's basically the rail for it or direction for it. And then all the, sorry, all the uh, gears are right here. Your power supply is right there, but power supply is removed from the bottom, so you don't need to remove all that in order to re remove your power supply. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble it. I'll show you how not hard it is to do so. I'm gonna put this back. Um, this one back. There we go. Clipped in there. And now, well, let me show you the back. It really doesn't change much from the back, but let's go ahead and put our top of the printer back. Now, keep in mind, we need to reconnect this one. I'm just gonna go, go ahead and grab the top. Oops, that's the back side. open the front and feed our cord through here. Let me show you that closer. So you're gonna go ahead and feed it through here like so and you can snap the top back on because uh, we can just reconnect it after everything is on. You're gonna just loop that around right there. You, like honestly you don't have to loop it around it's it's just I guess the way it was built is just to make sure it doesn't fly around like this wire and then we're just gonna go ahead and connect it there's only one way to connect it if you have it upside down it will not go in so we got that and now just make sure you align everything kind of like that make sure that's aligned with the back here and then we can try pushing it in. There we go, the front clipped in, the sides, you can push them as I'm doing so from the bottom, like that. So kind of just like this, make sure it just snips in here, sn snaps in, <laughs> sorry. Um, let's just go all the way around. Make sure that's good. We still need to do this side. So we got that one. Same thing on this side. See, it, it goes in fairly easy. Just kind of some adjustment here. Make sure it's aligned. And if you pull it up, it doesn't come off, so you're good. Then let's put this cover back on, the one on the left, or let's do the top. So this one goes like this here. You're just going to put it right here and then slide it in. Got it there. Okay, now this one we're just going to go ahead and do the bottom first. Make sure it's in there. So this goes into this portion and this goes in here. This one slides in here. But first we need to make sure the bottom is right there we go it's all good now we can go ahead and close that turn our printer around and put those two screws back in of course the printer is going to work at this point but you just want to make sure you put everything back you don't want any leftover screws or parts So that's how you do that. I hope this video was helpful for you. That was my goal, is just to kind of help you get inside of a printer because you want to get something done. You want to either maintain it, clean it, or repair it. And that's the way to get the top off for it. And uh, uh, if this was helpful or entertaining, please don't forget to like, comment in the uh, comment section below, and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.